Look, I'm gonna come back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we, we, we need to find the radius and the center of the circle. Uh, the equation is given in this form, and we need to get this from the standard form. How are we gonna do that? x squared plus x squared x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 equals 0. So that's what is given to us. So first of all, we want to rearrange the things like uh, x, x is of x is x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 4y minus 12 minus 12 equals 0. And then we're going to do something that is called complete the square. What do you mean by that? x squared minus 6x. And now, let's take that 6. So negative 6. Right? Divided by 2. That will give us 3. And then squared. 3 squared is 9. This is the guy we want to add here. Plus 9. Then I'm going to keep working. y squared plus 4y. And I'm going to do the same, the same strategy here. We have that 4, divide by 2, that will be 2, and 2 squared is 4. So we're going to add 4. Now, we don't have that 9 and 4 in the original equation, so we're going to have to subtract them. Okay, and then we're going to put the minus 12. And we need to put the equal zero. And after I put the equal zero, we're gonna we're gonna look again and see is this equation we have the same as the original one? Is equivalent to the other one? And the answer is yes, right? It's the same equation. We add nine and four, we subtract nine and four. But these two guys here are perfect squares. We create them, we complete them. This one is x squared minus this one is x. Sorry. This one is x minus 3 squared. This one is y plus 2 squared. Okay, like I said, that perfect square. Minus negative 9 minus 4 minus 12. That is negative 25 or minus 25 equals 0. We have one more thing to do to add 25 on both sides. And we're going to get this form, which now looks so similar to what you see down here. That allows us to find the center, right? The center will be minus a h here, minus 3, be careful, right? So we have x minus 3 here, so 3 will be the x coordinate. And here, be careful, will be negative 2, right? Because y plus 2 is the same with y minus negative 2. So this is the center. And the radius, are we going to find the radius? We have this 25 here, x square root of 25. And that will be... Five. And that's it. If you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.